हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन एडिक्वेसी ऑफ क्लासिकल फिजिक्स लेट्स वेगेन इन एडिक्वेसी मीन्स दैट इज नॉट सफिशियंट टू डिस्क्राइब और वी कैन से लिमिटेशंस इन एडिक्वेसी ऑफ क्लासिकल फिजिक्स मीन्स क्लासिकल फिजिक्स इज नॉट सफिशियंट टू डिस्क्राइब एनी काइंड ऑफ फेनोमेन देर आर सो मेनी नेचुरल फिनोमेन बट ऑल दीज आर नॉट एक्सप्लेन बाय क्लासिकल फिजिक्स वाट आर दीज फिनोमेन that uh, not explained by classical physics the phenomenons like x rays radioactivity distribution of thermal radiation from a black body low temperature specificity of solids photoelectric effect electronic structure optical spectra these are the phenomenons this uh, couldn't be explained by classical theory let's come to an example let we prefer the study of nature flight study of nature of light first of all the scientist sir isaac newton came into picture and the first attempt to study the nature of light so the scientist newton first proposed his theory named as corpuscular theory of light corpuscular theory of light light so various natural phenomena as you know reflection refraction dispersion interference diffraction polarization these are some kind of natural phenomena that we see in case of light so newton proposed a theory named as corpuscular theory of light according to him according to that theory light consists of tiny perfectly elastic invisible particles called corpuscles means that theory based upon the particle nature of light again these particles which are called corpuscles these particles travel in all directions in straight lines with the velocity of light again according to that theory the velocity of light is more in denser medium than in a rarer medium newton by using that uh, corpuscular theory of light which is based upon the particle nature of light explained various phenomena of light but uh, 
he could not explain the phenomenon like interference the phenomenon like interference diffraction and polarization not explained as newton first attempt to study the nature of light and proposed his uh, theory as corpuscular theory of light which is based upon the particle nature of light by using that theory some phenomenons uh, like interference diffraction and polarization not explained then another scientist came into picture he is hagen against against he proposed the theory which is named as wave theory of light wave theory of light what was his theory according to this theory light travels in the form of waves in a hypothetical elastic medium which is called ether and considered light as propagation of mechanical energy so wave nature of light is proposed by hagen as light travels in the form of wave through that of medium that the medium is a hypothetical medium is called ether that is the propagation of mechanical energy throughout that medium again by that wave theory of light another two scientist young and fresnel used that wave theory of light to describe the phenomenon like interference interference diffraction and velocity of light velocity of light in different medium in different media are explained so by using the wave theory of light that proposed by hagen another two scientist young and fresnel also use that theory and by using that theory the phenomenon like interference diffraction and velocity of light in different media are easily explained then another scientist came into picture maxwell maxwell proposed his theory named as electromagnetic theory of light electromagnetic
theory of light. What was that electromagnetic theory proposed by scientist Maxwell? According to this theory, light consists of electromagnetic waves with electric and magnetic fields are associated in planes which is perpendicular to the direction of propagation of waves. Electromagnetic theory means light is nothing but electromagnetic waves. What is electromagnetic waves? Electromagnetic wave is that wave which consists of electric field and magnetic field both are perpendicular with each other and also perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave. By using that electromagnetic theory, almost all the phenomena are easily explained. But uh, few of uh, phenomena are not explained by using electromagnetic theory. These phenomena are photoelectric effect, Compton effect, Compton effects, and emission of light. Not explained. not explained. And uh, almost uh, all the phenomena related to light as uh, reflection, refraction, dispersion, interference, diffraction, polarization are explained by that electromagnetic theory of light proposed by the scientist. Maxwell. This is an example how the study of the nature of light is developed according to various scientists and their theory helpful to us to study that nature of light. This is the progress we notice in case of the study of nature of light in different era. By using that example, it is clear to us that classical physics is not sufficient to describe all such phenomena that occur in nature. So, we can say this is the inadequacy of classical physics. To overcome that uh, inadequacy, a new branch of physics is generated, which is called quantum physics. In your higher classes, you discuss about quantum mechanics various theories related to quantum mechanics and how that quantum mechanics helpful to us to understood all the phenomena that occurred in nature and those phenomena are not easily explained by classical physics. We can write it here. from the above discussion it is clear that classical physics is not sufficient 
to describe all the phenomena in nature. Therefore, it leads to a new branch of physics which is called quantum mechanics, quantum physics which is called quantum physics. In upcoming videos, we show all the phenomena that I write here, photoelectric effect, Compton effect, black body radiation, low temperature, specificity of solids, which are not explained by classical physics. In detail, we discuss these phenomena and how classical physics not explain these phenomena. So, here with the help of this video lecture, we understand the concept of inadequacy of classical physics by using an example, we show that all the phenomena are not described by classical physics. So, we need a new branch of physics which is called quantum physics. So, with this useful and infinite notes, let me wind up the session. Thank you.